Hey friends, welcome to Epcot. Today, I wanted to take you through the process of what I like to do in the parks to have fun. Uh, I don't want to make a video of like, you know, certain tips or best things to do or anything like that. Just basically, when I come to Epcot, not to make a vlog, just to enjoy Epcot itself. I have no plans because usually that's how I go. And then I just roam around a little bit and do things that I like, find new things, and I figure it would be fun to bring you along and show you that. And I plan on doing this for each of the parks and I think it would be fun. So uh, let's go do this. So when it comes to Epcot itself, there's a lot of different things I like to do and just hang out. People watch, just sit down, go into nice cool places. But when it comes to rides, uh, I always love Soren. If there's a chance for me to get a Soren Fast Pass, I always get it. I always, I'm like, oh, I'll, well, Soren Fast Pass, so that's what we're gonna do. But I'm having trouble getting a Soren Fast Pass. So what I normally would do is take a lesser known attractive ride like the seas or figment and then when i'm riding it i like to scroll through the app trying to find the fast pass that i want just so you could be in a cool place in a relaxed environment so that's what we're gonna do and hopefully we strike gold hopefully we get that soaring pass even better, I'm gonna go ride Living with the Land while I try to find a fast pass for Soren. So that way, I'm already in the land. It smells so good in the land. In fact, when I get off Living with the Land, I think I'm gonna go and check to see what the soup of the day is. I love soup and I love always just seeing what the soup of the day is. Even if I don't get it, I just wanna know what it is. Like, what's the soup? Holy moly, it is super busy here today. Look at this, 40 minutes for the land, and I got a fast pass, but the fast pass line is actually wrapping around out here. Just gonna wait in line and go in and out. Seriously, this is what I do. asked to sit in the front row on the land because that first drop down looks like you're gonna go into the water and it's actually really thrilling I love this part of the ride it's nice dark there's wind blowing on you you can smell the water the best this is good very good way to cool off Seriously, I can get frozen, but I can't get Soren. I once read a creepy pasta about Disney actually kidnapping kids and putting them in that house. Totally fake, but it was an interesting read. Things like this I really love. Anything that's kind of old and it makes me feel like a part of something. I like it a lot. I like American Adventure, Spaceship Earth, anything like that. And Epcot's full of it. I miss the baby alligators that used to be in here, even though those sturgeons look really cool. Whoa. This is where the alligators used to be. Now it's full of channel catfish. Someone's working in there. The future of agriculture. I wonder what they got going on. Ideas like this required by traditional what did he just say? That saves water and increases production. We are back, cowboy. And I got my fast pass for Soren. See? Very nifty. And now let's check on that soup for educational purposes only. Or maybe if it's good enough soup, maybe I'll get one. Oh man, they got the pot pie soup. I'm a sucker for the pot pie soup. It was very good soup. So here's the thing. I have the fast pass for Soren. I can ride, but look at this. This is the standby. It's at 120, 120 minutes. And then look at the line for fast pass. It's going all the way back here and all the way in here. I have never seen the fast pass this this craziness. I'm going to have to come back. <laughs> wow. This is berserkers. This is all fast pass. Huh. 
Yeah, that's insane. Uh, I'm gonna have to try to find a different ride. I mean, I wanted to ride Soren, but that Fast Pass line is crazy. Easily an hour wait for Fast Pass. So we're gonna go about our days and see what else we get to do today. But I also wanted to say uh, thanks for saying hi, Melinda, and I hope you enjoy your behind the seeds tour. Well, it looks like it rained while I was in the land. So I grabbed myself good old Bud Light. I'm gonna find a nice cozy corner and sit down and people watch and relax. Before I sit down and get to my people watching, I'm gonna run to my favorite bathroom back here because it's like never ever in use. Nobody's ever back here. And plus it's got some pretty nifty music. I'm not a big fan of filming in bathrooms, but there's no one in here. And would you listen to that? I think I'm gonna come up here and just sit down and drink my beer. I know this is gonna be a boring vlog, but like I said, I, I, I just wanted to bring you along. A day in the life of Nate at Epcot without a purpose. This is a good spot. This is a really good spot just to take in your surroundings. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, this is good, but you know what to make it better? Let's be honest. I think you guys know where I was going with that. I was going to say a monorail and then have the monorail drive past, but I've been here for 25 minutes and the monorail hasn't come yet. I'm going to wait though, because I'm going to wait for that monorail shot. And monorail. Totally worth it. Yep. So I left my people watching post uh, so that I can head over to World Showcase and I was talking to a bunch of people up there and telling them how I think that's one of the best photo opportunities in Disney World. If you can catch a photo pass person up there, which they are up there sometimes, and they can get you at the right timing, getting the monorail, the waterfall, and Spaceship Earth in the background, unbelievable. So let's go to World Showcase. Oh. Hello, Spring. I'm super shocked how empty it is over here on World Showcase. Like, it seems so quiet. I mean, there's no festivals going on. It's a free Epcot. But, I mean, Soren had a 140-minute wait or something like that. I thought the park was a little busy. But maybe I'm wrong. A lot of people look at the wait times as a judgment of how busy the park is. But I think that if you can walk around in circles without bumping into somebody, then it's pretty empty. If you can't, then it's very busy. I don't know if this seems fun to you guys or not, but this is the reason I moved to Florida. Just to be able to have the freedom to come to Epcot and do whatever you want. I mean, honestly, there's no rush, no pressure of getting everything in. If I was on vacation, I would be running to the attractions. Like, I would not even pay attention to the signage on the side of me or the look of the buildings or anything like that. I would just be like, Soren, test track, frozen. Like, get them done, get them done. But instead, I get to just walk around at my own pace and enjoy life. I probably wouldn't stop to see Impressions de France, but guess what? I'm gonna do that because either I haven't seen it, I can't remember, or this is my first time. I don't know, once I get in there, I think I'll remember, but it's been a while if I haven't seen it before. An 18 minute film that discovers the beauty and diversity of our country. I am ready. That's pretty. Very pretty. And they got a gargoyle. How nifty. Ah. <laughs> okay, I remember. I came here to watch this one time because I wanted to do things I've never done before and somebody actually got sick in here and they had to close it down so I wasn't able to do it so this is my first time. I'm excited. It's very nice in here. Look at that stage or screen, I'm sorry.
liked it. I liked it a lot. It's very nice. I didn't think the country was that beautiful, but it really is. But they make you exit through the gift shop and the bakery. So I'm gonna grab just a little something to eat. So just a little, little, little something. I think I'm gonna get one of them. Oh, yes. That looks good. I grabbed myself a Frage Pesh. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right, but I'm excited to try it. And uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Please use other dare. Other dare. I don't know if you're supposed to eat this with a, a fork, but it kind of looks like a turnover. Mmm. Oh, I like it. It's got that flaky crust to it, but then also an almond cream. And this only costs $4.50, and that's a pretty good deal. I like it a lot. I have to confess something. So, when I was in there, I was deciding between two things. The one was the, uh, you know, apple turnover looking thing that I did get, and it was pretty good. It was, you know, almond-y, it tasted very good. But the other one was the Napoleon. So I went back and grabbed this one because I need to know which one was better. I wonder if I made a mistake and this is amazing. I don't know, but I got it just so I can find out. I can tell you it's prettier. Kind of looks like tiramisu. Oh, well, that's not working. All right. All right, I know what to do. Yep, way better. That Napoleon is amazing. And it's only $4.52, but look at that. A little hard to eat, but I love it. I am so happy I went back and grabbed that Napoleon. That was phenomenal, actually. Maybe like one of the best desserts I've had in all Disney World property. I mean, not the whole world, but that was pretty, pretty good. And I would probably pick that over the other one anytime. Well, I decided not to lap around World Showcase. Instead, I'm gonna go back out to the front of the park. It's very hot out today, but I'm gonna just, you know, take a gander out front in Future World and see what they got going on. Maybe ride Spaceship Earth? I don't know, but that's the fun of it, is because you can do whatever you want at any time. And if you don't do what you want today, you come back tomorrow. Actually, I think I know what I want to do. Something I haven't done in a while. Mission Space. But I want to do the less intense version because they're actually two different rides. I mean, the well, the screen projections and stuff like that's two different paths. I think one you go to Earth, one you go to Mars. But I want to do the green one, the less intense. And I think the Earth mission is a five minute wait while Mars is 25 minute wait. So, Earth it is. Our Earth. Or should I say, Spaceship Earth. Oh, the AC is on point today. The ISTC. Thank you. I forgot they got rid of Gary Sinise. We're team two. And there's only two of us. So it's done the On this flight, I gotta do two jobs. When it's time to push the buttons, all right. All right. Ooh, yes, I like it. Capcom to X2. Welcome aboard. The X-2 is an excellent ship. Your job will be to trigger first stage separation and trigger the landing sequence. Got it. Surgeon. Click, 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 click. Oh, what a hit. If you're seeing this, we've been stuck in space for nearly a year. Oxygen is running real low. Food supplies are deplenished. And I don't know how much longer I have. Good luck, team. All of us here at Mission Control wish you a safe journey. Oh, you are go for launch. Oh, boy. We have main engine start. Five, four, three,
That's me, now. that's me. Done. Computer over. They're crossing paths with another X2. Just launched from the Pacific. Oh boy. The way that they have these simulators set up, isn't it? I love it. Well, would you look at that? It is a bunny rabbit laying down. Look at him. He's literally just laying down, chilling. <laughs> he is just chilling out. I love it. Well, that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys had fun hanging out with me at Epcot. I know it wasn't too entertaining, but it's just the point of it. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye. Also, thanks Pixie and Mimi for saying hello. 